Good day, my dear friends. Hello, everybody. Privyat, Ribriati. Here we have our Sedmoy 7th series on our guide. And uh, we're going to be doing our starter campaign. And we're going to finish up the USA starter. Uh, so Germany 1 is complete. And uh, we'll open things up. And, of course, for those who have missed the previous uh, guys, or if you happen to be just skipping it, we're on our seventh and final mission for the reward for the elite card of the strategic bombing, which is a pretty nice card. And uh, for quick review, we're doing a USA Britain. It's the ramp deck, so we're learning how the decks uh, styles or why they call them, why they call them between aggressive and other things. So we will uh, get into the campaign. What better start it? So anyhow, let's get start to the play here, and uh, we're on our last one, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, sometimes we make little mistakes or reading, but at least we will play them accordingly. Oh, we got like a canteen or something here. That looks pretty cool. All right, so uh, we are doing uh, 16. Okay, so we got an automatic. So after your success in Europe, you have been deployed to Asia. Uh, to participate in the final drive on uh, Japan, we have superior forces, but it will take time to get them into action. You can expect the enemy to come out fast and furious to disrupt and delay our deployment. And we will continue. Okay, and as you see, guys, I don't get to mulligan here. <laughs> so I guess, like, this last one, we just go right into it, and they've set it up for us. So let's leave it accordingly, okay? So anyhow... I'm going to put out the 2-2. Two, two. I don't want to put this Blitz one out just yet because I do really like it more for the, if we get a plane or artillery or something. But I do understand it is a great little card because it says support line in the back. So, I mean, you know, it's a situational card. The fact it's got Blitz, I guess it is nice. But uh, for me, it's probably better to, to ramp it. Uh, to give another one 3-3. Three, three. So we got a choice to, you know what? Uh, whoops, I didn't read that. Ooh, ooh, okay. Oh, well, we'll just do it naturally. I'm going to put the the credit up. We'll ramp up a little bit here. Uh, I didn't catch, uh, I missed the reading of that. I got excited. Being that I played this for so long, boy, oh, boy. Anyway, we've got a 6-2 on the board, but yeah, the weakness. Oh, now they've got an 8-3 on the board. Wow. Okay. Uh, so now what shall we do? Uh, I think we're going to give another unit uh, some survivability. So let's do it like so. And we'll do that like so. And there we go. Now we've got a 3-1. We're going to save on this for now. So they'll have to come down. And uh, we'll see if we start moving up after a bit. So if we bring both, we we'll only do one. Eh? It's got, we've still got two moves yet. Okay, he's going to draw two cards. Okay, all right. I kind of figured he'd come down. Uh, so now we need to actually get into the front line, right? So this is where it gets interesting. So, uh, oops, I didn't read it again. <laughs> I'm not reading the six natural. I'm just going by natural. All right, well, let's... Uh, uh, okay, we got to get a glitch here. What's going on? Okay, we'll take this out. Um, well, I'd like to get this out. I'm going to see if this can stay. I'm going to get one poke. I don't. I hope that we get to stay. I want to bring the Sherman out. So, you know, this is what I saved it for, for something like that. But now we've got the plane. If I can keep this alive and get the plane either that on the next turn. Oh, he puts a plane out. Okay, so that's what's scary now. Hmm. Oh, we got the Corsair, uh, but he might take that out. So you know what? I'm going to draw two cards. I'd rather draw two cards. There we go. We got Death from Above. Uh, whoops, I didn't read it again. I mean, I'm not reading, guys. Sorry, I'm missing the instructions, but uh, pretty much we'll see where it goes from here. Yeah, save time on the video here a little bit. But anyway, you get the idea of sometimes reading the cards. Now, artillery is nice. Just, I do like this. Air units that attack or attack by the are pinned. Oof, that's not good. Amphibious. Okay. Now, I have a choice uh, of pin type. They may look so strong as do the pin. We need to, our Air Force to see so you can destroy it if you can. So naturally, uh, okay, yeah, of course we got to destroy that. Um, I'll definitely go this way. I have no 
problems with that. Uh, now we can go plane to plane, uh, but I'm more interested because I can't get the plane out. I'd rather just put meat out. So we have now a 8-7 to a 3-3. Three, three. I think I'd rather do it this way because truly the Greyhounds are great because a lot of people just throw them down like they're, they're nothing. But if you can just kind of save one or two, then they can be actually quite useful. Okay, so now they've got the ambush. So that's kind of bad unless they attack me first so I think the first thing I want to do uh, definitely we're going to move this up I'm going to burn one there we have seven definitely going to take the uh, ambush out because we're going to get that and we'll get two on here so of course selecting what cards that have a prioritization guys are quite important and now I'm stuck between a three one um, so I can either drop the bomb put the greyhound up for the next turn that I can drop a plane down because this plane is still there. Still, the plane is going to take one of these out. Um, unless I take that and I put that there. I'm just debating which way I should go. Uh, or do I do a death from above? I really don't, don't want to waste this just yet. I still feel like I have a survive. Um, we still have, if I put the three, which way should I do this? If I use that, I have three left. That means I perfectly put this on ground unit. Um, Greyhound, I want to say if I do that from above, then I won't be able to do that turn. Or I could put the Corsair down, and totally the Corsair will take this out. So that's a possibility too. Should I do that? And then let them trade into me, or I can go once into the... I see got some choices here. Wow, choices, choices. Drop that, attack, take that, or... Uh, make it three for three because they actually got to trade into me. You know, that might be a good idea. Let's do that. Okay, they got to trade into me. So I'm going to put it like so. Um, they attack. You probably go for the plane. I'm not going to waste the plane. I think I should just actually leave it like that. But I'm afraid they're gonna, he's going to take the plane out because we can't take only three against the ground. So we'll show. I want to wait till I get the Greyhound up. I'm going to actually wait one turn. Let's be smart and let's be safe. This is the best way to do this, guys. It'll be smart and safe. Okay, there we go. That's what I was hoping for, something like that. Now we've got a 3-3. Three, three. And what's the destruction here? If they got uh, the trigger, I'm going to get something about the damage to the HQ, right? Okay. See, now we can do a death from above, or the plane is not going to work till the next turn. Heavy armor. Uh, we can uh, make a air, so we can actually retreat one of these two if we wanted to. Uh, I'm going to have maybe more fun. Let's uh, do this uh, at the moment. And then I will take, I'm actually going to take one of those out. That's fine. I'm okay with that. And then we can... Uh, move that up and actually you know what let's put this down let's retreat the plane because you'll have to lay it down he can't do it till next turn we'll just do a little strategy here guys we'll see how things turn out for a moment we'll see what happens okay the plane comes back down but we got first attack which is good uh, now we also have the tank here guys which makes this pretty cool so now I can actually put the Corsair the heavy bomber I've got some choices here uh, I do like the fact that that's sitting up there I'll, let's get this down just so I know that it's there I'll take this and I'm actually uh, probably want to trade that do I want to trade that no let's keep that alive let's keep that alive and we put this down for that extra meat okay at least now the plane's got a five six we'll most likely take this out i would think because it's the buffer fury will probably take that one out let's see oh we went the other way okay that's fine we will leave it um so plane uh we're gonna bring him up uh, ground target. Let's bring that up. Okay. Um, definitely gonna roll into the camp here. There we go. And I'm gonna save my guys. I'm not gonna like 
The other thing too, guys, a lot of people sometimes feel they need to rush or blow right into cards. Just sometimes sit back and let them kind of do the damage. Um, we've got the, the board advantage, less cards. They've got card advantage, but less up. But they can't uh, go anywhere without moving along. Okay, there we go. we still got our, our buff here, which is really good. Now we don't, okay, but that's fine. At least uh, they, they burn their cards. And truly now we just sit here with an absolute ready to go. So we can like, say, has a chance we can put down the big bomber. And we've got armor here as well. And this one's also a limited card. It's three to operate, mind you, but it's okay. And, and at the end, we do have a perfect uh, cover. Actually, you know what? We can just have some fun. We'll do one more turn. And we buff everything great. I doubt that they will get rid of this, but just to give you an example of uh, how you can take the game. And we're probably just finishing. Let's say everything too. We won't get damage if we use the bomber on this. Now, of course, guys, this is kind of a waste. But on the other hand, you don't get damage, as you'll see here, right? We'll get damage either way, right? And it doesn't kill them, uh, or it does actually kill them here because we're more. Ah, that's right, too, because they've, we've got the more extra life. But we get hit pretty hard. But for me, it's more fun because we get no damage at all. So it's nice just to clean the board. And we still got turn of nine. So you can actually have some fun as examples. So I'll put this down like that. And I will put four into that. And we still got like lots of credits. And then we'll end our lesson here, guys. But to give you an idea, uh, especially in the mid game, like when you get this up around turn six, seven, or eight, this. Um, uh, USA deck really really shines so anyhow we've got our level 7 now and we've unlocked the deal 3 damage all targets and enemy support line and this is actually a very nice card guys because uh, most cards in the back are have like a 3 life so it's uh, almost equivalent to like the stars and stripes so it's very very good and we've completed the campaign guys that means we got a new deck so we, now we have battle mode with PvP unlocked then this was a ramp deck, and we will continue, and we will open with that. And that is so great, guys. I'm so happy. Uh, so now on the campaigns, actually, what do we got the cards here? We've got uh, what, training or what? Yeah, so we've unlocked uh, the USA. And the next one, guys, I'll make a decision what we'll unlock here. I know that's a Japan. Like, we'll probably do British next, maybe. We got British France, and then we have the Soviet America, and then Japan and Germany. So uh, we'll probably just maybe unlock the British. We'll, we'll see what's on the actually what's on the campaign list. Let's do it this way. What's next? Well, it's actually Soviet they did. Okay, so we'll probably do the Soviet campaign, and we'll just kind of go in order of their campaign list. Okay, so that'll be our next video, guys. Thank you for uh, joining, and great and. Uh, hope you enjoy. And please, guys, I uh, will be doing a English card coaching or English card coaching, and I'll be glad to help anybody out, as well as that Hope for Look small groups. Please read the descriptions. Uh, tie them out of the contact. You have some contact. Uh, look forward to having, you know, little groups and funds and uh, little things like that. And I hope to start streaming. And don't forget to click on the Trovo link, and uh, possibly can go by Skype and or other things. And by the way, here's my camera. This is me. I'm your host, Encon the Minister, and... Uh, We'll catch you on the new videos with the Soviets, and uh, we'll start our guide three. And uh, enjoy, take care, and bye for now.